This video is going to explain some of the formatting options on the basic format bar. That's this bar here, along the top of your document above the ruler. Some of the options on the format bar are paragraph formatting options. Some are character formatting options. It's useful to be clear about the difference between paragraph formatting and character formatting. Paragraph formatting is applied to the whole paragraph. If you turn on the non-printing characters, every time you see this enter key, that's a paragraph separator. So networking devices is one paragraph. The word router is one paragraph. This, these couple of sentences here beginning, a router is a device and ending with wireless access point, that's one paragraph. To format a paragraph, you only have to have your insertion point your clicked cursor somewhere in the paragraph. To format characters, you have to actually drag the mouse over the characters to have them highlight as selected. Again, to format a paragraph, just click anywhere in the paragraph you want to format. To format characters, drag to select before you issue the formatting command. So let's look at the paragraph formatting first. I've clicked in this second text paragraph, a switch is a device, etc. The first paragraph formatting option is apply style right here. I've got a whole separate video on this, so I'll come back to that. The next paragraph formatting options are the alignments. Align left, center. When you align center, all of the paragraph, each line of the paragraph is centered. Align right, where you have an even right margin and an uneven left margin. And finally, justified, often used in books and magazines or newsletters, where you have an even left margin and an even right margin, and it's achieved by increasing the spacing between letters. I'm going to put this back to align left. You'll notice to make those alignment changes, we didn't need to select anything. We just clicked in the paragraph we were working with. These two buttons are numbering and bullets. Again, these are paragraph level formatting options and we don't need to select anything to use them. These two are indents. An indent is the distance the text is from the margin. These two are left indent, so it's from the left margin. So I can increase the indent, and that pushes the text in. I can decrease, and that pulls it back out. And finally, the last paragraph formatting is the background color. When we choose this background color, we get a background to the whole paragraph. And I can take that off by choosing no fill. Fill is a word that's used for the color inside an object. All right, so those are the paragraph formatting options on the format bar. Character formatting options only take place on selected text. You can select text in a number of ways. You can drag to select any amount of text, a large amount, or just a small amount. It's worth remembering a few shortcuts to selection. To select a single word, double click. To select a sentence, triple click, one, two, three clicks in succession, one, two, three. To select a whole paragraph, quad click, that's one, two, three, four clicks in quick succession. Those are very useful. There's a keyboard shortcut, control A, holding down the control key while you touch and release the A key, that selects everything. To deselect, just click anywhere in the white. All right, so let's format this paragraph. So click to select, or I could have dragged over it. But try and remember that quadruple click will select a paragraph. Now I can change the font, that is the shape of the type. So let's put it to something that looks pretty different. We'll choose Arial Black, very different. And we can change the size of it right there, so 16. The bigger the number, the bigger the font. All right, I'm going to select this word 
and I'm sure you're all familiar with this, boldface. I'll select modem and I'll italicize it and I'll select cable and I'll underline it. Okay. We also have font color. I'll make cable this color. And I'll make modem this color. And switch this color. And the final format, character formatting, is highlighting. Highlighting is just like the yellow highlighter you use when you're reading but you can also choose any number of different colors of highlighting. Darker color highlighting doesn't always work so well because it's not very clear to read. Okay, so that's a summary of paragraph and character formatting on the format bar.